It has been hard for India to manage months of lockdown and battle a disease as adverse as COVID. How to stay safe? From where to get essentials delivered? Who would help if there is a crisis? Are there COVID testing centers nearby? Would it be among the several concerns that kept troubling people? Addressing these apprehensions would be effective if people in a community help one another. Keeping this in mind, Gautam Raj Ilango of a non-profit organization ReBenefit came with a Sol Ninja community dashboard. Within two days of the lockdown announcement, he put together a community mapping board where people could participate and share details about shops delivering various essentials in the neighborhood, community members in need, government schemes for relief and much more. One of the primary goals of this project is to have a technology platform with hyperlocal information. The other most important goal is to use this hyperlocal information and facilitate on-ground movement uh, in a way that demand and requirements are being met at hyperlocal level. The social initiative, which initially began as an experiment in Bengaluru, is now active in 100 cities across the country, providing assistance for as many as 40 activities. The young team consisting 5 co-members and more than 33,000 volunteers has already helped 540,000 plus beneficiaries in availing the assistance. When it comes to the greatest achievement of the dashboard, it is its ability to identify the gaps in the system through local information and fill in the gaps. So when central and state governments announce relief packages and schemes, there are certain prerequisites. Uh, most of the cases it will be ration cards. If you do not have a ration card, you cannot be a beneficiary of the said scheme or the package. In one of the cases, a volunteer from Tamil Nadu identified a vulnerable community of 60 families. A volunteer from Bangalore stood up, uh, raised funds for that community. Once the funds are generated, it was given to the local community in Tamil Nadu and the lo local community uh, made sure that the vulnerable community gets what they required. This is how the COVID dashboard works. You need to select the city you live in. Once that is done, you can share details about your neighborhood. For instance, if you find someone in need of help, you can click the Help the Needy smart form and add details there. Once that is done, volunteers of ReBenefit will access the information and provide supplies to the beneficiary. After the need is fulfilled, the volunteers provide feedback and the information gets updated. The NGO has tied up with organizations like Whitefield Rising, Teach for India, Hasirudullah and Dream a Dream India for the project. Data privacy is among the primary concerns of people sharing information on the platform. So, Gautam Raj tells us how they protect the information they receive. When it comes to privacy, we take it seriously. If you see our dashboard itself, operates on one of the secure internet protocols on the internet HTTPS. So when it comes to uh, user information, uh, only the information that is required to seek support or to provide support will be uh, exposed to the public, that too with the consent from the user. Uh, rest all the information if we are collecting will be securely stored in the database. Most of the people accessing the Sol Ninja dashboard are from cities like Bengaluru, Chennai and Hyderabad. An intelligent plan with right intention and prompt action has resulted in the team helping lakhs of citizens during a tough situation. The team, which is getting a positive response, is looking forward to deploy more resources and bring succor to people battling the COVID crisis.